I am a philosophy professor, but I didn't start out that way. I started out in physics. I got a master's degree in physics before I switched to philosophy. And in education in physics, it's very rigorous, it's very hard, it's very intense. You would think I would have been, at the end of that, a real expert when it comes to, let's say, logic and argumentation. And in a sense, that's true, logic. But in a sense, it's not. There was something missing. I didn't really understand argumentation, even with the master's degree in physics. It was only when I changed, when I switched to philosophy and I took logic classes that I really understood the nature of argumentation. The first thing you're going to understand is to what the nature of argumentation is. And of course, this is crucial because when it comes to disagreement, how do you handle disagreement? You argue back and forth with the person that you're disagreeing with. And things you're going to learn are good patterns of argumentation and different kinds of good patterns and also the bad patterns of argumentation, the ones that you want to avoid. And when you do this and you work on it really hard, what will happen is, this is what happened to me anyway, is it's almost like you get a God's eye insight into the nature of your own thinking, what exactly your beliefs are, what your reasoning is, and sometimes most importantly, what your hidden assumptions are.